Okay, so welcome back. It's going to be a very quick tutorial to show you how to do some really neat tricks in uh, Microsoft Excel. Probably applies to LibreOffice um, spreadsheet also. Um, but we're going to show you how to do a very neat trick that you may not be aware of in Excel when you're working with charts. And specifically, what I've got here is a spreadsheet in Excel. And I am plotting a sine wave. You can be plotting whatever you want. This is just an example. And I am plotting versus time on the horizontal axis and the sine wave value. And you can see over here I've got two columns, A and B. Column A has the time values and column B has the sine wave values. And I am doing one millisecond steps, 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0.003. And then I am calculating a sine value for each point using the sine of some number times the time value. And then I am charting sine values versus time. And I've got up to 20 milliseconds. So let's say what I want to do is I want to add another series, another sine wave or whatever to this chart. I want to plot a second waveform. Well, we're going to show you really quickly how you can do that. And what you would have to do is you would go into this column C and add another set of points calculate another sine wave or whatever you want and fill those out. And you would have to somehow add that series to this chart to make a second sine wave. And like I say, there's a really quick and easy way to do that. The other thing you might want to do is we're going up to 20 milliseconds. We've got about uh, 20 points. What if we wanted to add more points to the waveform? Instead of going to 20 milliseconds, we might want to go to 100 milliseconds and, and plot all of those. How can we add those quickly to the chart? We'll show you how to do that. So let's fill out our column C for the next set of data we want to plot. And we're going to say that it is equals, and we're going to click on this value divided by two, and that will give us another sine wave that is half the magnitude of this existing sine wave. So I'm going to take that, go into the bottom right corner with a plus, and include that. Now we've got our second series that we want to plot. Now, how are we going to plot this? How are we going to add this to the chart? Well, you might think we just left click on this chart here and then right click and go to select data. And it brings up a window that says, here is the chart data range uh, from A2 to B21. So it goes from A2 down to B21 and it's charting those values. And you can see there's a series one, which is what's being charted, but we want to add another series. Well, you can go through and you can click this add button and add C2 to C21, and that's fine. However, there's a much easier way to do it. So I'm going to cancel that. And what I'm going to do is I've got this chart selected. And if you look over here, you can see these blue highlighted areas in the um, two columns that we are charting. And we're doing a XY scatter chart, and we've got these two highlighted. So let's say that what I wanted to do is add this column. So how would I do that? Well, all I have to do is go down here, and you can see these this arrows comes up when I go to the bottom right corner. I left click and just drag that over to column C, and immediately I've got the second series added to that chart. So really, really very easy to do it. And I can also make that second chart go away by doing the same thing and just going back and the chart goes away. So very easy way to do that. Now let's say we wanted to, instead of going to 20 milliseconds, we want to go to 30 milliseconds. I have this incremented by one millisecond step so I can take these last two that have a one millisecond increment, and I can go out to 30 milliseconds, and I can take both of these, and since they are equations, I can copy them out to the 30 milliseconds. And if I click on this, you can see the highlighted areas only go down to what it was before. So if I want to increase those, I can go to this time value, and I can increase, and you can see it automatically brings the B column with it. So now I'm increasing to 30 milliseconds, and now it automatically 
includes all of the data up to 30 milliseconds. And you can change the scaling to make this the maximum, whatever. But you can see if I click on it now, I've got everything out to uh, 30 milliseconds charted. And I, as I did before, if I want to include this other one, I can go to the arrows, drag it over, and now I've got both waveforms included. So a really nice way, very quick way to increase the um, series range and also to add an additional series. So if you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.